All right, all right. Welcome back, Internet. Thank you for joining us for another video here today. So we're going to be taking another look at a Python script and we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Normally when we're messing around with Python, you think in command line. Today we're going to be thinking about GUIs, how I can actually get something up on the screen for people to look at and engage with. It's not just a box full of words. It'll be a different sort of box full of prettier words. I don't know. Um, so let's get into it. Let's um, let's take a think about how we're going to approach this today. So we're going to use a custom library. Well, not a custom library. We're going to import a library uh, called custom tkinter or custom tkinter. I don't really know how it's pronounced, but it's what we're going to be using. So we're going to type pip install custom tkinter. Hit enter. Oh, that's a lot of thinking time. For me, it's already done. It's kind of irrelevant. For you, it's going to install and everyone's going to be happy. Next thing we're going to need to do is we're going to jump in here. We're going to type import custom tk in tur. Yeah? How good's that? All right. Um, so the basic framework that we're going to need for this is going to be we're going to have an app and that app is going to be equal to custom tk inter dot ct Ooh, ct capital k lowercase and then our, our brackets parentheses parentheses um we're going to set our workable area that we're going to be working with so we're going to set the jo geometry of the app so we'll go app dot geometry can i spell today well oh, we'll find out um and that's going to be in inverted commas and we will say that's going to be 800 by 600 all right so width by height now that may even be sort of all we need to just get a blank box setting up on the screen so why don't we go app dot main loop uh, which is going to create our infinite loop for us, which is going to keep it running in the background. We'll jump in here. We will type in, I've called this gaming habits. It's occurred to me now. I haven't actually told you what we're building, but that's okay. We'll work it out as we go along. Uh, and we'll type Python uh, and then gaming habits.py. All right, it's thinking and it's opening up on my other screen. And ooh, it's huge. No, it's not. It's, um, oh, how good are rendering issues when you go from um, go from a 4K screen to a 1080p screen? Uh, allegedly, this is 800 by 600. But as you can tell by the giant buttons, maybe not so much. But you get the idea. We actually have something here. Um, all right. So what what can we do with this? This marvelous box that we have just created. All right, let's close it to start off with. I think that's a good place to start. Uh, way too, too big. Uh, and go in here and we're gonna, up in the top left corner where it's got the little title bar, it just said CTK. So let's replace that. Let's go app.title. And I wanna make this like habit tracker but I want to like gamify it a little bit. I don't know what that's really going to look like when we get to the end of this, but for right now, we'll just call it habit tracker game. Yeah. All right. Now let's go back in. We'll run that. Let's see if it's actually worked for us or if I've typed it wrong. And of course it jumps straight back over to the other screen. There we go. That seems much more like an 800 by 600 win window. Title button, everything's still way too big, but we can see habit, habit tracker ga. So we, it's worked. We uh, can we drag this out a little bit? Uh, I can't use a mouse today, apparently. Uh, let's just full screen it. All right, habit tracker game. How good are we? All right, so let's give this a little bit more flavor. Let's put something in that box. Um, let's put a label in there. Let's, let's, let's make our first habit doing more push-ups. Um, 
So we're gonna add in a label, main, call it whatever you want. Um, label main, and that's gonna be equal to a custom tk inter dot ct, capitals K, lowercase, label. Uh, and we're gonna give it into the parent of the app and we're gonna say the text of that label is gonna be uh, add push-ups. Excellent, all right. Now, we need to put it somewhere. Uh, so let's go label. Ooh label main we're going to use the grid or the good we might use the grid because that's actually a thing and we're going to set it to row position zero column position also zero you can even add padding uh so we go pad x 20 no equals 20 and pad y equals 20 excellent all right i think that if we run this now again but we now have something that says add push-ups so stoked all right um now we're, we're incentivized, we're motivated. We want to add those push-ups. So let's close that out and build in a way for us to actually add in said push-ups. Um, so we're gonna add in text box for us to enter in how many push-ups we have masterfully performed. Uh, so go main or text main, um, it's gonna be a text box equals you can call it whatever you want it's a variable custom tk enter dot we'll go ctk whoop, ctk entry uh we're gonna add it to our app and we're gonna give it some placeholder text placeholder underscore text equals how many push-ups question mark um and we want a and underscore here excellent now same as before we need to put it somewhere we'll just put it down in the next row down so we'll go txt main dot grid and we're going to say this one is going in row one column equals zero uh, we'll give it some padding we'll go pad x equals eight pad y equals 12 and let's save it all right now we can run this sucker go in here again we'll run it again let's drag it over here and now we have our little text box with how many push-ups are in there. Or we're like, I just did 9,000 push-ups. But how will we ever let it know? We're going to need a button. We'll close that. All right. Um, adding a button to this interface. There you go. BTN main or whatever you want to call it. Custom TK enter dot ctk button we'll add it to the app we will say it needs some text the text equals make them gains um and let's give it a command so what's this button actually gonna do that's going to eat a cool, um, we're going to make a function in a minute. We're going to call it button make 
gains. Actually, let's call it FM for function. Make gains. All right. Let's jump up to the top here. We'll define our function. Define FN make gains. And we're just going to print a line into the console saying gains recorded. Save. All right. So if we hook this up all correctly, let's run this again. You know what we haven't done? The thing we haven't done, the thing we've done with everything else, where we add it somewhere. Uh, btn main dot grid row, we're gonna put this in row two, column equals zero, pad equals 20, uh, pad x equals 20, pad y equals 20. All right, now when we run it, it should actually show up somewhere. All right, we have it, it's right here. Now, if we click into our text box and we say, we did 9,000 push-ups and we click make them gains, we can see that our gains have been recorded. Hell yeah. All right, next video we're gonna make this into something slightly more useful. Maybe we will actually record the gains and not just say we made the gains and pretend we recorded them. Um, if you like this, if you found it useful, subscribe, add a comment. Hell, if you thought it sucked, add a comment, tell me why it sucked. Uh, hit the little bell icon if you want to like indulge in my desperate pleas for attention and get notified every time a video comes out um and yeah look until next time have a good one